Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, so today's uh, episode, we're going to be changing out the exhaust on this. Um, as you can see, uh, there's a different bumper on here than you probably remember. Uh, so that bumper is a work in progress, not done yet. There's a couple things that need to be done. That's why I haven't really done an episode on that. But since I took the um, bumper cover off and put this bumper on, you can see that the exhaust uh, pipe there hangs pretty low. Uh, it's not as low as, say, the gas tank, but uh, it's lower than I like. And honestly, it kind of looks ugly. So uh, the plans for today is to get um, the exhaust done. Uh, the goal is to, you can see there's this big cavity right here. The goal is to get the exhaust pipe to come all the way up to here and then have it turned down the same way it does here, but have it just turned down up here instead. So the turn down will come to here. That way it won't be so low. Um, also, it's just got the stock exhaust, nothing super uh, special about it. Um, you can see very large muffler right there and then I believe that's a resonator then the pipe and up there is going to be your uh, catalytic converter so I'm either going to have them cut it off at the resonator or cut it off at the muffler put in something different there tuck it higher if possible pretty much get everything as high as possible and then uh tuck all this so the car is running right now, so this is what it sounds like at idle. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the camera, or set up the camera to where you guys could hear it. I'm going to rev up a little bit. Alright, so uh, this is from above. I'm pointing down towards the, the exhaust pipe. I'm going to rev it up a little bit just so you guys can hear it. nothing really special it doesn't sound all that amazing or anything um, so that's pretty much the goal to get that swapped out all right so now we're in the car uh, I got all the windows down I'm gonna go ahead and rev it up a little bit so you guys could hear it um, inside the car stock all right so that's pretty much it stock so now I'm just going to kind of drive around in the car, um, windows down once again, so that you can maybe hear what the exhaust sounds like stock, which you can't really hear too much. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, go ahead and once everything's done, show you guys what it looks like, and then uh, try to do the same revs of the engine so you can hear what the difference is. Um, to the car stock but I could tell you driving down the freeway completely stopped uh, barely hear the exhaust it's quiet there's nothing uh, it doesn't really sound any different than what it sounds like right now so if you're not really hearing anything right now you're not gonna really hear much on the freeway but I'm assuming that once we get this uh, exhaust put on that it's gonna be totally different so I'll definitely get some footage of it uh, driving down the freeway too all right so next little spot will be once the exhaust is done. 
All right, guys, we got it done. So we went a little more simpler than I thought we were going to go to, but uh, it actually works out really well, and uh, I don't think there's going to be any issues. And if there are, I could always just deal with that uh, later, but he did a pretty quick, simple, uh, easy, cheap job. Um, so I'm definitely happy with it. Uh, so we'll start off here. The first thing he did is he cut off uh, the tailpipe pretty much right there. And then it used to come all the way back to about here. And then he curved the turn down a little to the side so it's not completely straight down. Um, and then he just hit it with some high temp flat black paint. Kind of just hides it, which I'm totally fine with. And then the main thing that he did is down here, he got rid of that main big muffler. You can see how much got cut out from uh, just looking at that what's there. And then he just put a Flowmaster 40 series in. Uh, we kept the resonator. Pretty simple. Uh, and it's it sits a little higher, which is good. It is it is the lowest part of the car still, um, but it's no uh, lower than what the stock was. So definitely happy with that. Uh, you can hear right now it's just kind of sitting there at idle. Kind of has a little more lopiness. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the car and then I'm going to start it up and let you guys hear that and then a couple revs. All right, the car's not turned off yet, but I kind of just wanted to let you guys see here. Um, when I had the camera set up in the exact same spot, you used to see the tailpipe where you don't see it anymore. So that kind of shows you how much got cut off. That's the revving up and then uh, holding it around 2,500 RPM. I did the same thing uh, when it was stock. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone back or the camera back in the car and then kind of drive around the same route that I did when uh, I originally made the stock video. And that way we can kind of compare. All right, so now I'm in the car uh, I'm parked. I got all four windows, almost, there we go. Got all four windows down just like before. And I'm gonna do the same thing and rev it up a, couple, a little bit and then kind of hold that 25 RPM, then we'll go for a short drive. So uh, definitely louder. Nice little rumble to it. Uh, but it's not really obnoxiously loud or anything. Um, very comfortable. I don't think it'd be any issues as a daily driver at all. Um, I also don't think it's gonna be so loud that it'd be annoying. So now we're just gonna go for a short little drive. Well, all the windows are still down, so you can kind of hear uh, the exhaust a little better. But it's just a little bit deeper of a tone. Kind of just has like a, a more, more of a rumble to it, just a deep, mellow tone. Uh, in this video, I will be able to get on the freeway, uh, so you'll be able to kind of hear what it sounds like on the freeway I'm probably gonna roll up the windows for that so there's just less wind noise um, but you'll be able to hear what it sounds like all right when you're on the gas uh, it's definitely uh, louder as expected uh, but when you're uh, just at a specific constant RPM or when you let off it kind of just goes back to really quiet mellow um, I don't think uh, I don't
don't think this is going to be a really loud exhaust at all, but that's kind of what I wanted. Something mellow, something a little deeper tone, uh, let you listen to that inline six a little bit better. Um, the main reason I, I went this route too is uh, my dad's Jeep Wrangler, his TJ, has the same muffler on it, and I loved the way it sounded. I was like, why does this thing sound so much better? Obviously, uh, different exhaust helps. So that's the goal for this guy and then also I wanted it to tuck up a little better uh, for off-roading purposes and get rid of some of that tailpipe um, and the only other thing this guy could have done is maybe remade a whole new tailpipe section but there was really nothing wrong with the tailpipe and it, it's got enough um, width to it for stock and I'm not gonna do anything like crazy high performance so it would have just been a waste of metal and bending for him to uh, do that. So it makes sense that he decided to go the route that he did. Um, did you listen to it? The only thing that he could have done that uh, might have been a little bit better is raise that tailpipe in the back just a little bit. Uh, but that probably be a little more difficult either you'd have to cut it and put a new pipe on there or you'd have to pull the pipe off and then bend it uh, to a different shape um, one thing that he mentioned and it kind of makes sense is that if, the more we tuck it up higher sure there's that possibility that it's got a less chance of hitting something but if it does hit something then it's gonna basically bottom out or top out I guess I should say because it's gonna hit the top uh, of the Jeep or the bottom of the frame um, and it could smash the tailpipe at that point. So if I were to hit it on a big rock, right now it's got some play in it. It can move up an inch or two. Uh, it's on the hanger, so it'll move around on the hanger a little bit. But uh, if we tucked it anymore and somehow I'd still hit it on a rock, then I would end up with a bent uh, exhaust pipe. So we'll see how this works, but uh, I still think that in the future that might be something I want to do is kind of just tuck it in there a little bit. Maybe just make sure that I have good enough clearance all the way around. Um, but right now, I think it's great. All right, so uh, I'm getting close to an on-ramp. Uh, as soon as I get into the on-ramp, what I'll do is I'll uh, keep the windows down and then I'll go up the on-ramp and then I'll try to get to like a constant speed and then I'll roll the windows up and then kind of just talk a little bit more. All right, we're getting to the on-ramp. Right, a little bit of an uphill, so.
them what my purpose was and we came up with a good plan and a good idea uh, and this is where we're at hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the video if you're thinking about just changing out your muffler uh, this would be a great uh, idea of what it would sound like uh, thank you for watching please hit like and subscribe